Dear students, today we will discuss about double linked list. As I was telling, the linked list is a data structure. It's a dynamic data structure. Why it's dynamic? Already I have told. But again I am telling because in case of a linked list, we are able to add more number of nodes as per our need. And if we do not require more node or if we want to remove a node, we can delete them. This is simply I am telling it's a dynamic data structure. But today specifically we will learn how to create a node in a double linked list. Here I have written DLL so DLL means it is double linked list. Okay. Now we will see how to create a double linked list. Before that let me explain how it works. Like a single linked list, every double linked list has three parts. Sorry, each every double linked list has some nodes. A for your name. For your example, for this example, I have taken four number of nodes. Node 1, Node 2, Node 3, and Node 4. So I have taken an example of a double linked list having four nodes. And every node has three parts. First one is info part. Info means information. I have Taken this for info, means where we want to store some data or information. Say, suppose I am storing here information 10, 10 is a data or information. In the second node, I am writing suppose 20. In the third node, I am writing 30. And fourth node, I am writing 40. So, this is the information part. Always in the middle, the information will be there. And as I was telling that every node has three parts one is information part at the middle, one is next which is a pointer which points to the next node in the list like a single link list I am repeating again every node has three parts middle is the information part or where data will be stored it has a pointer part which points to the next node in the list like single link list here you see that the next which is pointing to the next node and here you see suppose the address of the second node is 1828 1828 so here also 1828 which is pointing to the next node in the list. Here the next node is 5473. So here 5473 and it is pointing to the next node in the list. Here the next node is 3326. So here 3326 it is pointing to the next node in the list. And most important the last node do not point to any other node. That's why here it is not. All of you are understanding? Because the last node is not pointing to any other node, it is simply no. Means it is not pointing to the any other node. Then that is the end of the list. Now we will come to the reverse process. Every node has a previous node. Since the first node is the first node, it is not pointing to any other node to the previous. There is no previous node of this first node, that's why it is not. But the second node has a node which, whose address is suppose 2057. This is 2057. So it is 2057 pointing to the previous node. And same way 1829 is pointing to this. And it is 1829. Then it is pointing to this. Uh, 5473 because 5473 is not serving for this. This is a basic structure of a double linked list. Now we will see how to create a node in a double linked list. How to create a node in a double linked list. DLL stands for double linked list. So create node, this is the name of the function. As uh, those who are acquainted with the any programming language having some functions, concept, specifically for easy purpose, I have giving an example of C programming language where every function has a name and a parameter list. So in this case, create node is the name of the function. It's an identifier. You can take any other name also. And this function do not take any input parameter. That's why the bracket is valid. Now first step, allocate memory for NPTR. Allocate memory for NPTR. Allocate memory for NPTR means NPTR is the pointer of the first node to be created. So, but I want to create a 
नोड न्यू नोड एंड दिस नोड मस्ट हैव थ्री पार्ट्स एज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन अर्लियर नाउ इट आल्सो हैव एन इंफॉर्मेशन पार्ट इट आल्सो हैव एन नेक्स्ट पार्ट इट आल्सो हैव एन प्रीवियस पार्ट वेयर इंफॉर्मेशन इज यू टू स्टोर द इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ डेटा नेक्स्ट इज यू टू स्टोर द पॉइंटर ऑफ द नेक्स्ट नोड इन द लिस्ट एंड प्रिंट is the point of is used to store the address of the previous node now this is to be created not created till now but whenever created as i have told that uh, dynamic memory allocation whenever we are creating memory dynamically you could have remember in c programming language when uh, i want to create a space dynamically then i need to learn the dynamic memory allocation those who do not know please remind me later or we will create another video how to create space dynamically in c we will make a separate video for this but for the time being you i assume that you know how to create any space dynamically by ml of or cr of etc so uh, as per that uh, dynamic memory allocation strategy whenever i am creating a space at that time one pointer will be created which will point to this node and this is represented as nptr so you can take another name i am writing as nptr nptr stands for new pointer because it is a pointer and pointing it to the new node suppose name of this node is new and that's why it is new pointer or i am writing nptr after creating suppose this allocation address space is suppose 1 0 2 5 so 1 0 2 5 is the address allocated for the newly created node and it will be 1 0 2 that is my assumption so what i am telling allocate memory for nptr that means new pointer this is new pointer nptr we are creating space or allocating space for the new pointer that's why the first point is there now if nptr is equal to no If that is the condition, but we know that if if n p t r is equal to no, that means if it is no, but it will be not no. When it will be no, if due to any reason, if this is not created, then it is no. But the other it is space is created, so it is not no. Is equal to no. 
So I am setting or giving initial value n PTR net is equal to no. So always it is from right to left. That means no will be assigned to n PTR net. N PTR net no. Come to the sixth stage. N PTR pre is equal to no. So it is n PTR pre. It is no. It will be assigned to pre. That means no is assigned to n PTR pre. N PTR Pre this one is equal to no. Okay, hope everybody understood because it is a single node created and this node has three parts. Middle part is the information data but stored twenty five. Next is the next pointer which is pointing to the next node in the list. Since there is no other node in this list, there is a single node, so it is no. And since there is no previous node in this list, so it is also no. So our task is over. So now. Return NPTR. Return NPTR means after creating this, the new pointer address will be returned. So that in future, if we want to create another node or to add another node, we can do this. Or if we want to delete this node also, we can do this. So in order to get its address, we are returning NPTR new pointer which contain the address of this node. So now our entire process is over. Eight step. It is simply end. Anyway, I hope everybody have understood. If uh you comment me if you are facing any problem next time we will create a uh, double english note uh in hindi those who are not able to understand english for them i will create a special note in hindi how to create a note in hindi i will explain in hindi and uh, i will try to prepare other graphical technology like powerpoint or other multimedia technology i will use But for the first time, I am creating for you people inside the class, so that you can understand in English. Those who are not able to understand English, if you will uh, discuss in the uh, my comment section, then definitely I will create a video in Hindi also. And thanks to my students, uh, uh, Nikhil, who is uh, taking the photographs and videos. Okay, Deepak Singh, those who are taking the videos also. Okay, and Nikhil, sorry, uh, my team, my student Dilam, who have written this. Uh, I do not know uh, how you are liking his handwriting, but anyway, I am thankful because he has written this uh, uh, code, this algorithm. Thank you all, dear students. Uh, do not forget to subscribe my channel so that in near future, whenever I am creating and Uh, so, so I am creating and posting my new video. You will get this information. So subscribe, subscription is very essential for you people. And if it really uh, useful for you, please do not forget to like because it will motivate me to create even better videos in future. Thank you.